Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 3-22 that is taken from chapter number 3, Mechanical Properties of Materials and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is two bars are made up of polystyrene which has the stress strain diagram shown. Determine the cross-sectional area of each bar so that bars rupture simultaneously when load P is 3 kips is applied. Assume that buckling does not occur. So you can see this is bar B, C and this is bar A, B that is acted upon by load of P which is 3 kips. And uh, there is stress strain diagram for the bar intention is this one and for the bar which is in compression is this one. And it is given that to find the cross sectional area of this B, C and this cross sectional of area of this A, B of the bar so that these bar rupture simultaneously. So let's start with the solution. Now due to this load you can see this bar BC will be in tension and this B bar AB will be in compression. So this bar CB will exert a force on point B in this direction and this bar will exert a force on point B will be in this direction. So we will use using method of joint at point B method of joint at point B we will find this forces in the member so let this is point B clear so at point B we have P load which is 3 kips that is downward so the force exerted by this bar CB on point B will be FCB clear similarly the force that bar AB will exert on point B will be equal to FAB now if you look at this FAB will be at certain angle theta clear and you can see that this height this height is 3 feet and this uh, length is 4 feet so this is 4 feet this height is 3 feet 3 feet so this hypotenuse will be 5 feet so this will be there this will be the ratio of their sides so if i take sine theta so sine theta will be equal to 3 over 5 if i take cos theta so cos theta will be 4 by 5 and this force will have two component one along x axis clear in this direction another one will be in y direction so this component will be f a b sine theta and this component will be f a b cos theta now we will apply equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is positive. So 3 kips which is downward so minus 3 plus this vertical component which is FAB sine theta is equal to zero. So it means that FAB sine theta is equal to 3 over 5 is equal to 3. Clear? And we will get this FAB will be equal to 5 kip. Now we'll find this FAC by using another equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to 0 and force towards right will be taken as positive. So you can see FAB is in positive direction. So FAB cos of theta minus this FCB which is in opposite direction is equal to zero and you can see that cos theta is equal to 4 over 5 so 4 over 5 minus is equal to fcb and fab is 5 so 5 multiplied by 4 over 5 will give you fcb and you can see that fcb will be equal to 4 kips now you have both forces in the member in member a b it is five kips and in member c b it is in four kips so for member for member a b c b c you can see due to the load this member b c will be in tension so for rupture we will take the maximum ten, ten, uh, load stress will be five ksi so we will we will use rupture for tensile is 5 ksi and from here we know that rupture for tensile is equal to force bc divided by area of bc 
so we are interested to find out the area so area of bc will be equal to rupture stress for tensile divided by force bc so 5 ksi divided by fbc is fcb is 4 so we will correct it this is 4 so when you calculate it area of bc will come out to be 0 0.8 square inch similarly we will find for member for member ab for member ab a b so you can see that this member a b will be in compression clear so we will use this stress strain diagram and sigma rupture for compression here is 25 ksi so we will write 25 ksi so sigma rupture under compression is equal to 25 ksi and we know that sigma rupture for compression is equal to FAB divided by area of AB. So from here area of AB will be equal to rupture stress under compression divided by FAB. So you can put the value 25 divided by FAB is 5. So I think we have made a mistake over here. We have to correct it. This area of AB will be equal to FAB divided by sigma R C. So FAB is 5 divided by 25 will be area of AB. And when you calculate it, this area of AB will come out to be 0 0.2 square inch. Similarly, you can also rectify it. The mistake which I have done earlier is this FBC divided by sigma R due to tension. So FBC was 4 divided by 5. So 4 divided by 5 will give you 0 0.8 square inch. And so this is the area of uh, bar BC and this is the area of bar AB which will rupture simultaneously under a given load of P is equal to 3 kips. And that was all about this problem 3-22. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. Also share my videos with your friends and help me in growing my channel further. If you have any question you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.